The Puffin Rock logo is what they want to draw next. What's up, everybody, and welcome once finally again to another drawing tutorial video! And you're probably wondering, where have we been? Where have we been? Where have we been? <laughs> We've been right here <laughs> with no computer. We had a little situation right after we made the Martin Kratt Peregrine Falcon video. We did make it, see? Um, but we only got half of it before the computer exploded. It didn't actually explode. It just died. <laughs> <laughs> but we're back now, and we got half. We're gonna we're gonna get that other half of the Martin Kratt video, right? But we have a new computer now, so we're getting back on the ball. So once we get the other half of the Martin Kratt video back out of the old broken computer, which we will, we're gonna do it. We'll get up there. But I did find out what we chose after the end of that video, and that was the Puffin Rock logo. So that's what we're drawing today. So which is kind of like three drawings all in one, right? It's a rainbow, it's a grassy field, and it's Baba and Una. Right, we have a Baba video, we have a Una video, and now we got to put everything together with a rainbow. So, get your three peas out, your paper, your pen, your pencil, and hopefully you have an eraser, right? It's just in case you mess up. So, Turn your papers sideways or landscape, horizontal, <laughs> and let's get started. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is right on the bottom of your paper, let's say that's the bottom of your paper right here, you're going to make a line going across the, the end of your paper. All right? Um, so make it, a, so if this is your... Your page, look at, I'm going to actually make a paper here. <laughs> so here's your page. <laughs> uh, all right, let's hope I have enough room. So now we're going to do our Puff and Rock logo. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to make a giant curved line. We're going to go all the way up to the top, all the way down to the bottom. It looks like a giant mess, doesn't it? <laughs> all right, that's okay. Fix that right there. Okay, we're going to make a slanty rainbow like that. All right. Ah. Boy, it's been a while since I've done this. All right, once you've got your two curved lines on your paper, we're going to make <laughs> another, another rainbow shape. This one is going to be upside down you rainbow and you're going to follow that rainbow so it's nice and thick and there you go so now you got your you got your two big you got a big curved line smaller curved line and they are practically parallel not quite parallel lines are two lines that follow the same path but never meet or touch they these are pretty close okay let's finish off this rainbow and what we're going to do is on the bottom here we're going to we're going to make one two, three little marks. And these are going to be our rainbow stripes and we're going to follow, it might be easier to follow the smaller one. So we're just going to go ooh, 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 ooh. Am I going to be able to do it? I don't know, maybe. Ah, right there. And one more. So now we have our gorgeous rainbow on Puffin Rock. Puffin Rock! Okay. Now we're going to make our favorite little characters. And uh, we've made videos of these characters already. So, <laughs> it might be a good idea to check those videos out to do these super detailed. But we're going to go kind of old school here. So the first one we're going to do is Una and we're going to draw a nice big head, nice big circle right there. All right. Now what we're going to do because we don't want to have 
all of that rainbow stuff in there. We're going to erase our pencil marks right here. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right. All right. Now that once you have your circle and everything's erased in there, we're going to draw a little triangle right up there. And then we're going to erase. I might be going a little bit quicker today just because we have so much to draw. We're going to do the magic tea. Boy, it feels good to say that again. Magic tea, right? All right. So the magic tea. And we're going to divide this face with one line going down and another one going across. Just like that. All right. Once you have your magic tea, now we know where all the pieces of the face are going to go, right? So we're going to take this magic tea. We're actually going to use this as our guide to make the beak. And we're going to make a sideways triangle just like that. All right. We're going to erase everything inside the triangle. And we're going to make two lines. Are you ready for these two lines? Actually, we're going to make, yeah, we're going to make a small curve line first. Going like that. All right, now we're going to erase everything in there. And then after that, we're going to make another curved line, a parallel line right there. And one inside of it. Ugh, man, that's small. She's small. All right, now we're going to make from this part of the magic tea, this part of magic tea, a smile. Oh, how cute, gorgeous. All right, now let's make the eyeballs real quick. And the way we're going to do that, we're going to go to the side of the magic tea line and make another big rainbow. We're going to go the other side, and we're going to actually going to make another rainbow just like that, except for this beak is in the way, so we can only make part of a rainbow. See how I did that? Start right there. Pretend you're going to go all the way through, but then stop right at the beak. All right, now inside this eyeball, we're going to make one curved line, and then one more curved line. Two curved lines, just like that. We're going to do the same thing on this side. I know I'm going a little quick. One curved line. Two curved lines. But I'm doing it because we've got lots to draw. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure you're not going to be here all day. We're going to go to the top of here and we're going to make a curvy M. So we're going to go one side of the M right there. Curves from there, goes all the way to the side of her, her head. And then we're going to start on this one and make another M, curvy M. You see what I'm saying? An M? It's, that's a curved line, really, but I'm thinking of like an M, but. Maybe that's not such a good... Okay. <laughs> All right. We got our M. Now, on top of this, we got a little baby triangle. We're going to color that in, just like that. Another baby triangle. Color that in. Color in the eyeball. Color in the eyeball. Like I said, a more detailed version of Una can be found on our drawing videos. So if you don't like how quickly this one's being done, we're going to have to check it out. Okay, now we're going to go down here, and we're going to make the body real quick. And the way we're going to do that is that magic T line again. So we're making a little short J, like this. All right, and then we're going to go on the side of her head and make the other part, just like that. All right, we're going to raise everything inside of our little J that we made. All right, go at the bottom of here. We're going to make a little U, two little U's, two little U's, not me's U's. All right, then we're going to make two sticks coming out of each of these U's, just like that. I hear my kittens fighting in the background. All right, let's finish off her head real quick. So we're going to go to the side here where we were. And we're going to go right down to that magic T line, just like this. All right. Then once we're there, we're going to make a curve line, just like that. All right. And then we're going to make just a little fin, just like that. All right. Let's finish off the feet real quick. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to put little lines just like that. And then we're going to shoot off two more lines sticking out like that. All right. And then it is the a baby M shape. All right. And then we're going to erase everything 
just like that. All right. All right, let's do Baba over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the circle right below there, right below this big head. We're going to make a circle right here. Okay. Then we're going to make a J or a, a hooky line. And then on the other side of this circle, we're just going to make another curvy line that connects with that one. Now we're going to erase everything inside here. We're going to leave the circle there. All right. Now we're going to make this magic T line again. And this time we're going to do it to the side. We're going to, we want them to look at each other. So the magic T is going to be, we're going to do slanty and then slanty like that. All right, now we're going to make a curved line right on top of that magic T, just like that. We're going to go on one side of the magic T. We're going to put a circle right on top of it like that, and another circle slightly oval on the other side like that. Then we're going to make sure we get these eyelashes in here by making two little triangles. Got to have the triangles, right? All right, on this side of the magic T, we're going to make a little, little curvy line right there. And then we're going to go from this side all the way up to there, a little slightly uh, curved line. Whoops. So you can see. It's this little smile. All right. All right. So again, <laughs> let's get the eyeballs. And the way we're going to do that is a curved line, like a half moon, just like that. We're going to make another curvy line like that inside of it. Whoop, whoop. We're going to fill this in. All right, let's get rid of the magic T at this point. All right, uh, we can get rid of the magic T over here as well. All right, now we've got super cute here. Uh, <laughs> now we can put a little uh, V shape here for her fin. And Let's get the feet, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to make a little U-shape right there, and then another little U-shape right there, okay? And then we're going to put two sticks shooting out, and we connect with a little M. So just like with Una's, two little sticks shooting out, and then connect them with the letter M, like a McDonald's logo. All right, all right, so we've got everything except for the actual name puff and rock right and i'm sure we're gonna need to do that as well so i'm gonna get another color i can't believe we did this whole thing so quickly <laughs> sorry it was really fast and not very detailed but i didn't want this to be like a forever lesson so we're gonna put a big p right here and then we're going to put a curve line around that p let's uh erase all this stuff All right. All uh, right. So now we're going to, this is what you're going to do with your markers when you're all done. You're going to just make this letter P really thick like that. And then the U goes right there. Right. And, <laughs> and then we have a right underneath Uno, we have a long curved line like that. And that's where the two F's are. One F is a little bit bigger than the other F. All right. Then I. All right, right after the I, it goes into another bubble. So another curved line right there. And we'll put the N like that inside there. Ugh. That's the worst N ever. All right. Puff and rock. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> we got the puffin. Now we gotta hit the rock in here. And you know what we're gonna do? Let's just write rock. And we're gonna put the R right before we get to Una, if we can. Because we don't want the words to actually cut into our characters. So I got the rock. O. C, K, 
which is actually pretty big. All right, puffin rock. I guess a C could be bigger. Remember, yours doesn't have to be thick right away. Uh, when you ink in the stuff, that's when you can make it thicker. Now, what we want to do is we want to make sure we put a little circle around these letters. Where's the end of this rainbow? So, I didn't do that great of a job. <laughs> and then we're going to erase everything out of here. Alright, this was actually a pretty difficult draw. Okay. I think you got the gist of it, though. I kind of want to fix the K. It kind of goes out of there a little bit, huh? Okay, so something Asher just pointed out to me is this is the clouds actually go out of our drawing. So we're going to make this cloud come out, and then we're going to make a little booba right there. It's Baba. Baba. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should have made the cloud first and then put Puffin Rock inside of it. <laughs> it's, it must have been a lot easier. I think so. I don't know. Okay, go. <laughs> the Puffin Rock logo. Now, <laughs> this was very difficult because Don't we had. I have a Una lesson, I have a Baba lesson, two separate lessons, and we added it into a logo, which was very difficult. So and this so was. We to, so we had to redraw Baba and Una. Basically, we had to redraw them. So check out the Una and Baba videos. Well, at the end of this video, there will be links that you can click to see the Una and Baba videos. So you can draw them either separately or together, but they'll be very good detailed ones. And uh, I did different colors, so I'm not sure if that's going to work out for me or not. Yeah, I don't know. All right, guys, we're going to see. <laughs> all right, so now we... Inside. So now, yes. We're going to look inside. These we're are gonna, all your... Comments. We're going to look at... Look, look, we're going to... See what's inside the mystery comments <laughs> of drawing tutorial video. So what do you think? What, do you, what kind of thing do you want to hope I you pull out? I think it's going to be Mars. Mars? Planet. We're going to pull out the planet Mars? Yeah. That's kind of silly. Alright. Pins! Pins! A whole... Oh, only one. Well, only one. Right, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, Don't lose them. Don't lose them. What is that? We got two, actually. Oh, you only need one. So, yeet! <laughs> so many comments. Alright, what do we got? It's... We got... It yeah. is... Chris Kratt as a coyote. Yeah. That's perfect! <laughs> okay, guys, so here's the deal. I looked and looked everywhere for Chris Kratt as a coyote, but all I could find was Chris Kratt as a wolf. So, uh, we will do Chris Kratt as a wolf next time, and if you guys have a picture of Chris Kratt as a coyote, send it in. So, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give us a thumbs up. Damn! And us, comment below what yeah, you want us... Give us this. <laughs> give, us a thumb, uh, give us a thumb. Give us a comment below what you want us to draw next. We have a whole ton of stuff that we still have to draw. Uh, we're glad to be back. We're going to start doing these more often, more weekly, and we'll see you guys next time. Keep on drawing! The more you do, the better you get! Read this card. You want to draw more?
Well, we got more videos for you to watch. Check out any of these, and please share this with all your friends. Let's get more people drawing. The more you draw, the better you get. All right, see you at the next video.